All right, YouTube, today we're going to play some Blue Eye Control. We had some technical difficulties, but now we're back. So let's pull this out, play a tap land and pass. We're kind of just going to hope we don't die before we get to play this Jace. And brainstorm what we're looking for back on the top of our deck. Move some of these out of the way. Get rid of this. Rename. All right. Well, the fact that it was only that is actually pretty good for us. We're just going to pass. Spoon. I mean, as long as our opponent doesn't like deal us a million damage, we're gonna be okay because we're gonna end up brainstorming these away. And it doesn't look like my opponent has a very damage heavy hand. Not gonna run out of Snapcaster Mage for nothing. There's just no reason to do that. It says here that I could be having a potential. Connection area. We're drawing a card, which is fine. Just going to click through here. We're going to play Jace, Brainstorm. Jace is probably going to die, but hopefully my opponent doesn't put like 11 power onto their, put a million power and play this turn. So we could just spike the, the, uh, the terminus right there and that would be sweet. So let's Brainstorm. Okay, so let's put back Field of Ruin, or field of Ruin and we'll put Terminus on top. And just hope we don't die. If we don't die here, we should be all set. Okay, that's five power. I don't know why you would just commit more to the board. I mean, you gotta know what I'm doing here, right? Yes. Cast it, get rid of all that. And now I'm just going to brainstorm again. All right, put back. I don't know, we'll put this back, put this back. We can snap caster terminus if my opponent plays something else. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So we're just gonna snap terminus. Something we can actually do here that's kind of sweet, and I think it's what we're going to do. We're gonna, we're going to, because we don't have anything to do with our mana. We already have another snapcaster mage, so that's kind of cute. No, we can't snap terminus. Excuse me, it costs six mana. Whoops. Snap cryptic command is what I was thinking about. Okay, so that's fine. So we're gonna put back this. And this, I made a mistake there. Oh shoot, I just, uh, we'll just cast it. I always forget when I'm brainstorming that like, I never, I wanna always, like I'm used to the legacy mode where I want to shuffle the cards away. I don't want to, uh, I don't wanna keep the, like the ones I want, I wanna keep in my hand. Draw three cards. Um, let's put back this Field of Ruin. Let's put back this Colonnade. And I guess I will fetch an Opt on my opponent's turn. I guess I can just fire up Colonnade and block also. My opponent gets like cheeky. All right, 
that whole block plan is not working out as good. So I believe I have lands on top of my deck. So I think I'm just going to opt. Put on the bottom, because I need it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, put on the bottom. Land there. Play Snapcaster Mage. Put on top. Block. Now I can do the snap terminus play that I was talking about. We don't need this. We don't need this. <clears throat> One, two. Get rid of the board. So Jace has been nice. My opponent's got to run out of gas here pretty soon. And then as soon as we can up tap with Cryptic Command, we should be good. I might just start plussing my Jace. And just exile my opponent's uh, hand. I hope the stream's working out. I can't see it on this end. Like, I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties. Poor Spirit Dancer. Okay. Path to exile is nice. So I'm just going to path. Well, hang on. Yeah, I'm going to path first. Then I'm going to just start plussing on my opponent. If Crypt Command, like, the world is pretty much my oyster. We've sufficiently taken control of the game. You can have that. Play this. Pass turn. I hope the stream's working out. Like I'm getting an error message. I don't know if anyone that's in here is like if it's working out for them. But I'm getting an error message with this that says it's not working out. All right. So against this, we want here. These are good. Um, oust is not good. Path to Exile is like it hits Daybreak or hits like what does it hit? It hits the dumb um, Core Spirit Dancer. I feel like we probably want Vendillion Click in our deck also. So maybe we just like eat it to the Core Spirit Dancer. Well, that's five for five. Like we could bring in Negate, but. Are the clicks better than negate? I'm not sure. I think having one of these is okay. We're gonna go like this. Might be a little loose, but like the only other card I want is negate, and that's much better on the play. This hand's a mulligan. We have two terminuses. Like he, we, it, like. I mean, I guess we could try to get to Jace. I'm gonna keep. Yeah, we we can we can get to Jace. Optimal smooth our draws out. We'll have Logic not on turn two. No turn one play from our opponent's really good. Like we're just looking for lands at this point. Engineer Explosives is a great draw. This probably is indicative of a Daybreak Corn at hand. I hope the stream is working. We're having some issues. So I think I'll be excited about when I get my next um, streaming, when I get move on in life to like to get back home is, yeah, that's a good one. Yield until next end step is I'm gonna get a nice computer. Like I, I stream from a laptop. I don't have an actual desktop computer. 
This core spirit dancer could cause a lot of problems for us though. Lands are good. So I could put engineering explosives for two, but then if my opponent has like the stupid um hive mind or the, the totem armor ones were in trouble, I think I'm just gonna go for it though. Like if they don't have a totem armor one, this is really good for us. If they have totem armor, then like at least we get rid of that. Rancor, okay, that's not a totem armor one. Oh, now they're gonna needle my explosives. Okay, good on them. All right, so we're gonna be able to play Jace. It just, is that gonna be enough? Should have played my flooded strand so that I could, um, so I could logic knot for one more. That was a mistake on my part. Yeah, I'm just gonna counter this because. So pretty much have to. Oh, we can go Jay's Bounce. Never mind. I don't even have to worry about brainstorming. That's good for the home team. Though there is a chance that we just, like, die. At least they don't get the Ethereal Armor back. But we are at seven. So like double ethereal armor rancor would kill me. All right. Rancor makes it four. Okay. So that's killing Jace. I think I'm just gonna bounce this again. Would have liked to hit a land drop there for sure. Spells with chosen name can't be cast. Okay, so we're gonna name Terminus probably. Terminus, all right. So my explosives are gonna do some heavy lifting. Teferi can deal with that, I guess. I'm just gonna brainstorm. Probably should have boarded out this surgical. So we're gonna draw one of those. This daybreak cornet's just gonna bury us again. Yeah, I should have taken out this surgical extraction. Pro creatures, okay. All right, Jace down. I 
can't cast it, so there's no sense even miracling it. <clears throat> what if I should actually snap opt in order to put the put the second miracle on the bottom? Which is probably what I should do, because I don't want to just go serum visions into into draw a card that I cannot cast. So I'll put on the bottom. Teferi is the start of a way out, I guess. I can just go Teferi, tuck this. See if my opponent doesn't kill me this turn. There's a chance that I can't even afford to do that, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna block. I guess I guess I can make this thing large enough with the rancor where I just die. All right. Yeah, we'll scoop it up. We're dead. Okay, so now that we've seen how they sideboarded, we might need to try to find more answers to, per to weird permanents, but we just don't have that. So we probably just want, like, these clicks are probably too cute because we need, we just need more counter magic. I'm going to bring in one more of these, even though I think it's pretty results oriented to do that. Johnny, if you're in the chat there, let me know what is going on here. It looks like I'm having technical difficulties on my end, but the stream still says it's live. So I have no idea. I have no idea if anything's working. All right, I would like to play first. Like I think I have to keep this hand. Like I have lands, I have a Jace to put this back. I don't know. Maybe with a London Mulligan, but I'm on the play also. Maybe like a London Mulligan, I'm supposed to Mulligan this, but. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm not muted anymore. Okay. No play from our opponent is gasoline. It's tilt. I think I want this to fairy, and I think I want this. Because like Teferi is going to help clear away problematic permanents. Then once I draw Teferi, I'll opt on my turn. Because if I find like anything worth keeping up for two mana, then I will. And if I don't, I'll just play a tap land. And then I'll just Jace back these two Terminus. And then hopefully set something up where I can go Teferi into... Uh, where I can go Teferi, like Terminus into Teferi. The Bogle Boy. All right, Rancor. Hope I stacked that right. Definitely might not have. But no matter what, I'm drawing. Yeah, I'm going to draw the Teferi because I think that's how it's going to win the game. So I'm just going to play this tapped. Cycle into the Teferi. Then play Jace Brainstorm. Okay.
Maybe I will not do that now. I think I just need this Teferi, though. Maybe we'll spike a miracle here. But, like, worst comes to worst, I have back-to-back -back miracles coming. Well, I'll restart my stream after this match as well. Play Rembra, draw a card, you got it. Brainstorm back to miracles. Just double them up, and then we can do like path plus explosives if we have to. The opponent will probably kill this Jace. Nevermore, okay. That's not good. I'll have to deal with that with Teferi. So I can actually just go end of turn, bounce this, Miracle, and then play Teferi. So that's what we're going to do here. Actually, I can just go turn off auto yield, upkeep, Miracle this. No, I can't because I didn't shock. But I'm really on top of it. I think shocking there would have been really good. But they might commit more to the board, which they did. Play another dude. They do draw a bunch of cards, but we are going to untap with Teferi. We're going to take a shot here. I hope my stream's working here. I'm sorry if there's no one in the chat that... Because it's such a low numbers in the chat that it might just not be... I don't even know if I'm live. Okay. They're playing around Settle the Wreckage, which is like kind of smart. I mean, I mean, I assume they think they're very far ahead. Return target permit for the owner of control. Draw a card. No, I drew off of Terminus. No, I should have tapped and drawn. Bleh. That's so dumb. Because I, then I just drew. Jeez. Okay. Well, let's just get everything out, out of the way. The Rancor goes back. I should have gone like tap draw, I guess. Because if I could have gone, if I could have gone Terminus into Teferi, I would have been in a very good spot. And this is okay, because what we're going to do here is we can plus and then we can path this if we need to. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Okay, well, we're just going to play Teferi. Plus. Uh, Field of Ruin doesn't... Well, Field of Ruin actually just deals with this, so that's what I'm going to do. If my opponent tries to put anything on this, then I will just Field of Ruin it. And I can Field of Ruin into Mana Leak. So we should be good now. We should have, I think we've taken over this game. Really kind of nervous about my stream. I need a new computer. Gonna make my opponent commit more to this. Rest in peace is annoying, but whatever. Up 
let that go. Uh, I'm just going to let this go also because I'm, I'm going to be able to mana leak something next turn. Now let me go plus. Play this. Empty the board. That gets exiled. Nice combination there. And the game should be pretty much over. We're going to ult this to Fairy pretty soon. And then my opponent's just going to be in a lot of trouble. Johnny, how's the stream going? I think we're going to be starting out the stream, starting out this league pretty well with a 1 0. We can still counter, like, yeah, opponents had enough. I'm trying to blame them. All right, I'm going to restart my stream here, so be right back. Bring it back up. I'm going to start my league while it's connecting. It's a good start to it. We hit the first... Uh, Got to win with the start off on the right foot. Okay, I see what's going on here. All right, we're going to have to give me one second here, everybody. I do not know how to do this. Where do I find... Give me one second, chat. Settings channel. I see what's going on here, why we're having our issues. Yes, now we should be good. For some reason, my stream key kicked off. I've never seen it do that during a stream. Okay, there we go. Yeah, my stream key kicked off. Okay, well. All right, I'll keep my hand. Got a little bit of everything. Let's start with a colonnade tapped. Oh, looks like we're playing a mirror. Play mail. Oh shoot, that didn't play in the mail leak. That sucked. That was a hollow fountain. And now we're just dead because of it. What a tilt. Well, not dead. That's not as bad as, like, um, certainly could be worse. I'm going to play this so I can snap opt. So I'm just on the battlefield. Yeah, I was, my stream key kicked off, which I've never had happened before while I'm streaming, which is odd. I'm just going to. Bring, I'm just going to flash the Snapcaster Mage in. It's going to keep me uh, going. Like, keep cards in my hand. I'm on the battlefield, which means my opponent's going to have to path this. Okay, Spell Snare is kind of shitty, but what's going to happen? I think I want both of these because, like, likely one of my Teferis is going to get countered. Should have played a tap lane. Can't go snap. Then, damn it. At least I can field of ruin if my opponent makes me. 
There we go. Now we're back and going here. I'm going to flash my Snapcaster Mage in right now before I get... Um, like, before I get... Uh, like, I can't or get spell snared. Let this go. It shuffles away our top cards, but, like, it was just redundant. No, nope. nothing new. It's a, like a, it's a donation deck list from one of the people to benefit the Barreros. Yeah. And it's supposed to be stock, you know. I'm not gonna just jam to fairy. It's a good way to get of our opponent jamming to fairy into us. I hope this video turns out alright. I was just having like problems and it messed everything up. Addition land. Let's see tweeted last night. Okay. There's, an, there's there's reason to mana leaking that just to make my opponent pay. Yeah, I would assume that it's very dumb in the mirror. Yeah, this is a donation. I usually don't play blue white this is a donation list um based on the barreros um because they are trying to raise money to become a part of the olympics so if you want to see any cool decks played for ten dollars to either myself or the barreros you can watch you can get your deck on here no matter what it is within within reason They're not going to flip, which makes sense. Are they Portuguese origin? I don't think so. They are both a part of the... Uh, they're both a part of the... Um, lost my train of thought. They're both a part of the uh, Aquasasi uh, Indian Reservation. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're both Native American. Okay, so my opponent put two cards on top, which sort of makes me want to feel to ruin them, but then the search for his canto is just gonna bury me. Alternatively, I could feel to ruin and then tuck the search and then try to counter it, but that seems like it's not actually gonna happen. So let's get in here with an attack. And then I'm just going to play Teferi. They need double, double counterspell in order to get me here. And if they have something like a cryptic command, then the card then they the card they shuffle away. If it's the new one, yeah. So I'm just gonna go up, even though it lets them transform this for a turn. Like, I don't want to tuck this. I just want to get a card. Because we don't have anything going on here. So if they want to spend their turn activating Search for Escanta, then, like, that's okay. They're going to lose their Search. Wall of Omens. Wall of Omens. 
Oh my god, we're untapping with this Teferi. My opponent's going to use this. If they don't use it, then I'm just going to upkeep it. And if, if they go to cast that, like, Timely doesn't even do anything, right? Because we have the same amount of, they gain life, but, like, if they want to spend their turn gaining life, then whatever. Okay, they path that to ramp, which makes sense. You have to somehow try to convert your paths into something. All right, so now I'm going to try to counter their path, this thing with... I could just, like, Terminus, but I really don't want to do that. Okay, so before they attack inside of their combat, we path this. And now we're just untapping with Teferi on an open board, even though we don't have anything. But like we have to assume my opponent's deck is similar to that. Jace. All right, Logic Knock's pretty great. So we'll just untap it and go. So at least we have something. They're gonna have to draw, like they either have counter spells or they have to draw ways to deal with this Teferi. And I would just like to draw a second counter spell or something like that. We have that for Snapcaster, which is nice. Big draw. Play this. We're going to brainstorm. There it is. Okay. That's what you all were talking about. One, two, three, four, five open mana. So I should counter this because they're just, actually I should let it go because they're going to just take this logic knot and I'll just path it and they might put me into something. So I'm just gonna let this go. They're probably gonna target me. I'm gonna path this. Snapcaster Mage. All right, well now I'll Logic Knot the Snapcaster Mage. They can pay for three, so I should Logic Knot it for four. One, two, three, four. Done. I untap my lands, I show my phone out of shit. And then I just hope that they miss on dealing with this Teferi. Because if not, I'm going to ultimate it. And then eventually I'm going to win the game. It might take a while, but I will win it. My opponent's going to try to time me out, I guess. I think it was actually a potential reason to plus there because I drew Cryptic. Okay, I'm just gonna take this shot, then I'm, gonna, then I'm gonna eat it. Always yield. Yeah, I'm glad they scooped it up there. Because we were gonna kill them. Dirty fucking dangles. So we're a significant dog because we do not have the new...
cards. But that's life. Um, sort by converted mana cost. There's not really anything else we want here. Like, I mean, in the mirror, like, Engineered Explosives doesn't really do anything. Like, it can kill Search for His Kanta, but we're not going to have a problem with that. I think we're just going to submit. I'm going to take a picture of my deck, too, so we can tweet it out again. I lost a lot of viewers when my... I've never seen my stream key tweak out like that before. Like my, it just kicked off and then it reset my stream key midstream, which I've, I've just never seen it do before. Cute. Iron Sun Modern in need of control. Didn't opponent have red lands? They had a scalding tarn. Oh, we should submit our deck. They had a scalding tarn, not. They had a red fetch land. Alright, keeping it. We have lands. That's what matters. We have an opt. My opponent has Spell Snare, which, like, fucks. I love Spell Snare. Keeping that, because that smooths out the draw, baby. Put on the bottom. Put on the bottom. This is probably just Nassif's list then. Did his list play a wall of omens? So if my opponent jams a Jace, I'm actually just going to brainstorm end of turn and try to kill it. I'm actually st I'm still just going to flash in this click. <clears throat> they can't really afford to counter this. That is a lot of... Path to Exiles. Get rid of the Dome of his Veto because it just wins. But I guess we have four Path to Exiles left in our deck as well. Both of those are probably very good in the mirror. don't see myself winning so he played field he's got five cards I'm just gonna crypto command this like I've got to at least like get some of these four mana cards out of my hands okay my opponent like can't really counter that anyways It's really nice we have a creature here because he's going to path it at some point and that's just going to turn into a mana advantage. Like, this is just great. I love me a mana advantage. Let me tell you what. Mana leaks, medium at the moment. My opponent's hand has got three path, two paths and a sphere. The mana leaks will do something. 
I'm not going to do anything on my main phase anyways, so I'm just going to pass. Like, eventually the Mana Leaks will win in a counter fight. Okay, my opponent's missing land drops, which is gas. Denies him a cantrip. Down the bottom. I should have boarded that out. I keep forgetting to take that out. Should have played a land. No. Holy shit. Alright, put this back. Put... Now the colonnades better put these two back. So we're gonna have to fight over this detention sphere, which I'll use two I'll use two mana leaks to fight over this sphere. If my opponent's last card is Dispel, then like, you know, such is life. This isn't the best, this isn't like the greatest interaction, but it enables keeping our Jace in play, which is the most important part of what's going on here. Um, we're probably gonna want the field. Put this back, put this back. I'm going to Field of Ruin uh, before I untap just to get a shuffle off of this Jace. Couldn't have let that go, to be honest. But... One, two, so my opponent's, I know, I know my opponent's hand. So let's go Snapcaster Mage, Target Cryptic Command. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's just the Deceives list that you were talking about. Okay. Let's jump in here. We're 2-0. Oh. We're, we're chugging along. I'm going to go grab some water. I'll be right back. Who's pumped for Game of Thrones tonight? I am so excited. Remember, if you're in the chat and you want to see your deck list played, you can donate to the Barrero Brothers. I'm curious to see if the entire Supernatural can win. Yeah, a little bit. This is a mulligan. I'm going to keep... I'll put this on top. This is better than a random draw. All right, we're playing another mirror. Let's go get a watery gray or uh, a hallowed fountain because we want to make sure that we can we don't run out of lands off field of ruin and such. 
All right, our hand is garbage. We're basically just gonna mar march up to the to ferry, and that's all we're gonna do this game. We're gonna hope that works. Yeah, Brand did actually nothing. Like Brand is so useless. Show some weakness. Miss your land drop. Miss your land drop. Tilt. I had to beat the White Walkers. The purpose so far is to use his John talent. Yeah, that was it. Like, that was important, but felt like sure. But that's all he's done. These game one control mirrors are so annoying. Because, like, you neither of you has really a lot to do. And you just have to, like, there's a chance that one person just draws literal all their removal and you just jam into them and kill them. And, like, I'm going to miss, I could miss my land drop here, which is, like, super not good. And I'm going to do it, like... Because if I lose my, if like I just have to hope that this resolves and then I can at least brainstorm to hit another land drop because I'm just gonna fall behind. My opponent's eventually gonna be able to play Counterspell plus. All right, gas. Let's pull both of these back. Should have shuffled. I kept thinking to myself, maybe I'll be able to like play a Teferi. All right, we're gonna have ourselves a good old fashioned Jason. I think I'm gonna want a Terminus here to snap this colonnade in combat because I think this colonnade is going to be coming after me. Ooh, we get to tuck this. So one, two, three, four, five. Play my six land. We can't defend the Teferi. Which is unfortunate unless we plus. So here's what we're going to do. No. Plus, we're going to brainstorm. Shoot, we didn't hit a land. No, we're still good. So we're gonna go like this, put this back, put this back, play a fetch land, pass. We're gonna untap both of these two, both of these two. And now we have mana leak, Plus, we can fight over this colonnade. And then next turn, we'll tuck their Jace. Just to get it off the battlefield. So let's go like this. Brainstorm. Play a land, tuck this.
Right. We lose our um, we lose our whatever they are, but we've got plenty of mana to work with here. Like we we lose our we can't defend our planeswalkers with um with whatever it is, but with terminus, but we still have cryptic command to like deal with it. Let's just ditch this surgical extraction. I could have ditched the probably the oust is actually much worse. Should definitely get rid of the oust. Uh, counter target spell, draw a card. Then I will mana leak. Whatever you're else you're doing, you get you got it. All right, there we go. Okay. So again, this is what we're bringing in the mirror. And this is what we're cutting. I'm going to keep the surgical in, I guess. Like, is the surgical is better than any, like, everything else we have sucks. So, I'm just going to keep the surgical. I might be able to take, like, a planeswalker from my opponent at some point. Maybe a cryptic commands. I don't know. It's pretty meme-ish. But, like, I feel like this list is not built to fight the mirror very well. Because, we're, like I said, we're leaving in four paths. How's everybody else doing today? This is my fourth deck of the day. The legacy matches were rough. I went 3-2 in lands, then I went 0-3 with a Bant deck, with a Bant Alluren deck, and I went 0-3 with Elves. Elves I got bad matchups in, and Bant I just didn't really know how to play it, so I got kind of memed on. Keep smoothing it out. Like we can play a tap land and then just leave up our opt. And we can like snap opt. Oh, opponent misses on land drops. Can I counter this? It's not a land, but it's basically the next best thing. We hit a land drop. So I'm definitely going to EOT snap, uh, snap opt. Could have off, could have tried to snap Serum Visions there, but like that makes me tap out on my main phase, which I don't really want to do. And this is nice because this means we have a critter, and this critter is going to eventually turn into a land. And if my opponent counters this, I'm going to slam Jays. Yeah, now we're going to play Jace, and even if my opponent plays their own Jace, we Jace first. Right click concede. All right. 3 and 0. Oh. 3 and 0. Oh. Doing good, doing good. I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. We're doing all of these weird decks on my channel different decks because we're setting up a goal for the Barreros to send them to the Olympics to wrestle for ten dollars um a donation to them or myself I will play your deck on stream if you end up um if you end up donating directly to the Barreros make sure you um make sure you contact me 
Oh, wrestling, excuse me. Make sure you come back me with the receipt and send me a deck list and I will play it. The Barreros are two Native American twins that live on the reservation in New York that played at my local game shop. They are just absolutely wonderful people. Um, and they're people that we, we should support. Their Canada doesn't support the wrestling team that much. So they're looking to... I would like to play first. Um, I think we're going to keep in hope. They don't, so Canada doesn't support the wrestling team that much. So they're just looking to raise funds. I believe they're about 33% or so into what they want for their goal. So every little bit helps. All right, we're playing against Phoenix. Kind of sucks to not... It kind of sucks to not have hit uh, Blue Land there. And I'm, I'm just going to play Jace and jam it here, even in the face of Arclight Phoenix. Because I would just like to get it a card. Put these, reset this Terminus. Opponent is not doing anything. I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to go for this. And if we get punished... Then so be it. Okay, we're going to get punished. Um, let's put this oust underneath this terminus. Pass. They can just bolt this, but I think it's important to get a card. Oh, I'm playing a storm. I'm dead. I'm, I think I'm pretty dead. They're past them flaming. Okay, so they're, they're like digging here. Such a hard time believing that I'm not just super, super, super dead. But like, they have seven cards. Storm's nine. They'd have to have just lands at this point, or lands and rituals with nothing to do. How can you play Storm in 2019? Storm in 2019, can we believe it? Can you believe it? Gifts I'm given with one red floating. I really hope I can incentivize a gifts pile Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to put the two rituals in the graveyard. You can kill my Jace if you'd like. Oh, no, the...
Or you can deal me a trillion damage. One of the two. Whatever you want, sir. Yeah, we're kind of... I thought we were playing against Phoenix, and, like, I thought my hand just needed help. I mean, holding up wouldn't have done anything either, I guess. We could, like, because we couldn't even logic not. So, I guess we could have passed the duder. Light of hand. Grape shot me for sixteen. Oh, they're gonna kill Jace. Does he mean we have a chance? Now we're just chilling. Maybe I should have fielded ruined them. I'm gonna field them now. Like they, they can gifts, but you know I've got to set up. Um, I need to set up cryptic command to win this game, I believe. I'm gonna play Jace. Like we have, we have logic knot. Remand sucks. Maybe I was I forgot about remand. I just said I had to set up cryptic command. I didn't do it. It was dumb. We have logic not for three, so my opponent tries to flashback past in flames. Having double counter spell here would have been so nice. It was just super dumb. Okay. Can't counter it. Makes three mana. Gifts ungiving is O oh, is okay. I need them to commit a little bit more mana. So I need to not give them any of the cards that make mana. And then Because I think I'm gonna get this counter spell. Like I could have countered right there, but if they just let it resolve and then go off. They can get the the past in flames back, which is what kills me. I have to get them to commit to where they are so low on mana that they can't not go off. If that makes sense. Because even if I path here in response, I think they can just still kill me. Because they'll just go like ritual, ritual, untap, ritual, ritual, past in flames, go nuts. So we got put both the rituals in the graveyard. This is going to get the remand out of their hand. Then we can path it and then have cryptic command. Yeah, 
Yeah, they were manned. At this point, I think my best line of play is to just go path, path, and then just hard counter the um, the past in flames when my opponent goes to cast them. Oh, it's going good, Jonesy. How are you? Just playing. This is our fourth deck of the day. Played Legacy Lands earlier this morning. Then I played. Yeah. Played Legacy Lands earlier this morning. What do you got? Whoa, what the hell? Could have bounced. Just to give my give me a chance to hit a land drop. Yep. Played Legacy Lands earlier. Um Desperate Ritual, okay. Okay. We need that land to come into play untapped so we can have Logic Knot plus Cryptic Command. Because Logic, Logic Knot and Command would have been nice. But as it is here, I think I'm pretty dead. Because like the, the front half passive planes only cost three. The other side only cost four. Oh, thank you very much, Jonesy. We'll send that over to the Barreros as well. So, so far we've raised $21 for them today. Go Storm. Yeah, we're trying. Um, let's just get rid of this and peer through depths. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I basically don't think I can win at this point. No, that's totally worth it, Cody. You do what you can. That's what life is like. Yep. The Barreros will appreciate it. Okay. I'm super dead. If my opponent does this correctly, then I'm fairly certain I'm super dead. But because I know they have past and flames in their hand and in the graveyard. Yeah, so now I have to go counter draw. And then just hope that my opponent loses it. We're dead. We're dead. Okay. Let's. Sideboarding against Storm. We want Vendillion Click. I don't want Terminus. I don't want Oust. I want to Negate. Disable Strokes and Maybe. Rest in Peace is good. Um. I know these are coming out. The other cards are like Terminus is like Supreme Verdict. I kind of want one of just to be able to make sure that I don't get whacked by a um, by goblins. Engineered Explosives is kind of the same thing, but it's but even if they they're only going to remand it, so it's not like it's we're losing any mana on it. I kind of want to cut a couple Jaces because they're a little bit too gaudy. To fairy at least will make mana. Yeah, I think this is what we're going to do here. You did. You missed Legacy. That was all earlier. I played Lands, Elves, and Bantlurin. Elves and Bantlurin didn't go well, and I went 3-2 and two with Lands. So 
I'm going back to bed. Sadness. All right. I would like to play first. And I would like to keep. I'm going to lead on Serum Visions on turn one. Actually, I'm not because I might have to fetch. So I'm just going to go opt. I'm going to get a Hollowed Fountain and rip my opponent. Yep, that's good. Serum so Visions after. Alternatively, I just play Colonnade, but I would like to try to get through my deck a little bit. It does kind of feel bad having so many Snapcaster Mages in my deck and then playing Rest in Peace. So maybe I should have boarded some of those out and boarded some of the other stuff in. Yeah, I probably should have. Tim, how's it going? I played lands this morning. Went uh, three and two. I definitely made some mistakes playing against Eldrazi and lost. And I was like, I was like, I don't think I should lose to this deck. I don't want either of these. Videos will all be up tomorrow on the old tube. What are we up to? We're up to almost 25% of the way done. Almost 25% into our goal. Put two cards on top, which is always a little scary. We're not drawing a lot. I'm just going to field my opponent. They just put two cards on top. I don't have jack shit going on. Make him shuffle. The old Serum Visions Conundrum. Okay. Gifts ungiven. Sure. Yeah, I really actually need to adjust my sideboarding because like Logic Knot is awful. My four Snapcaster Mages are awful. And I could have bring in some more cards that could potentially be better. Yeah, so I think I made a mistake to where I didn't evaluate correctly how I was going to win the game. Like... I, I, I could have either, like, okay. I had a moment where I could choose to either, I should have played a fetch land, that was stupid. I mean, uh, like, all I can do is path, but I'm telegraph, telegraphing that now. Um, I, could, I took a line where I tried to lock them out of the game with wastelands and such, but I also could have just gone for the 20, I could have, like, I was pretty close to getting the 20-20, so I think I might have misevaluated how I was going to win. All right, we're going to path this in response to the first spell. All right, meow. All right, come on, Jace. You another you another counter spell, my friend. God, you bastard. Okay. I'm just flashing this, this ambush viper in this. My phone's up cards. But I guess I've used the rest in peace and they've remanded me a few times. Pieces. Pieces, puzzle, repeal, empty, pass, and fling, scalding, tarn, pierce the depths. So here's kind of the big thing we decide how we're going to win this game. Because if I just flash Snapcaster Mage and attack them, we deal them... Six damage, they go to five, and it's still not a two-turn clock. So I think I'm just going to play Jace. 
Like, I shut off a fetch land from my opponent, but I'm going to play the Snapcast Mages on attack. So they took Empty the Warrens and Peer Through Depths into their hands. So I'm going to make some goblins. So now I'm not going to play this Snapcaster Mage. I'll, I'll probably still play it end of turn, but it'll be just be as a blocker. So I have eight goblins. So am I losing this race? Seven puts me to 11, then four, then dead. If I can put them to seven, seven, 11, three, four, dead. So yeah, we're just gonna colonnade them out of the game. So we're going to play one more league after this, I think. Maybe two. And then we can play either the new Tron deck or we can play um, we can play either new Tron or um, whatever it is. Can't think. Am I about to get Grape Shot out of this game? Probably. I mean, I can play Red Green Breach. Okay, so now we're losing this race, or am I still winning it? We're about to get Grape Shot into the moon. Gifts, okay. I can put Red Green Breach on the list if you want to put the $10 to it, Adam, but the only time that I would be playing, I'm going back to Vermont for a wedding this weekend. So I would be, the next time I would play it is probably like next Wednesday or something like that. All right, let's get rid of the ones that make mana, I guess. I don't know. They, they can, they can like reman their own grape shot and kill me, but like, Yeah, and here comes the remand, which I figured. All right, I'm going to scoop it up here. We're going to get to the next match here. I'm just dead as a doorknob. I would assume that's a pretty bad match. And I, I also sideboarded poorly, but I don't think the deck is actually designed to be able to beat a deck like that at the moment. Which, like, Storm's not really a huge part of the metagame, so I don't blame them, I guess. I'm going to grab something to march in order to drink. I'll be right back. Pity boy. Pity boy. That kind of takes your losses to storm. Only if you, yeah, that's what I think. Like, like I'm just supposed to lose the storm and that's okay. So I've got to give the wrestlers, I believe it's $21 today. That's what we're up to. We're almost a quarter of the way there, or are we a quarter of the way there? We definitely should get a quarter of the way there today. But my, my wife's Sims just turned on randomly, which is odd. Sims was just launched. Join match. Cowboy, take me away. Ooh. I think it's Dito. Who's going to throttle me. Because he's playing Death Shadow. And I think Death Shadow is really good against blue-eyed control. 
at least this version of it because I don't have uncountable stuff and I don't have spreading seeds so I'm gonna get slaughtered and Dito is Dito knows what he's doing Hopefully he's really smart and doesn't count on this. He might sniff it out. Yep. Yep, we knew Dito was going to get us there. Why don't you really point? Why don't you really use a challenge? I've got um, I've got a bunch of um, um, a bunch of deck lists to do for the donation I've been doing. I've got. Two more modern decks to go through, and I've got a legacy deck that I'll do next week. What a beating. I don't think... I, I'm not a 12-post guy either. I've been super excited with Stoneblade lately. Like, everything about Stoneblade has felt nice. I think I'm like... I think I'm like 13-2, and 12-1 and one with the deck... With the uh, list I've been playing... Like 13, 14, one, something outrageous like that. Like, man, that deck is good. It just does everything. Like, it beats like the Delver decks. Chalice Jailer, Chalice or Palace Jailer beats the Control decks. Like, the two color aspect of it is good against Blood Moon, and it can handle Chalice of the Void. Like, man, I've just been super excited about that deck. All right, I'm just gonna upkeep path this thing. It turns on Snapcaster Mage if he has it, which kind of sucks. But I could just Surgical the Stubborn Denials. That card's going to grind me out. What's insane? Put on the bottom. I just have to bottom both of these. These this. <laughs> you can go down to my uh, the the link below in the channel, and you can you can donate there. I'm just gonna put both of these in the bottom, and he lands. At least I can surgical my way out of. Um, one, two, I can't stop this Jace from flipping, unfortunately. Oh yeah, the Stone Blade's been going super well recently. Like just had it going on. Alright, plays that deal. Come on, Jace. Tilt. All right, I'm going to Snapcaster Serum Visions. Both of these are good. I guess I could have drawn the Terminus next turn, but I don't know. Yeah, the Stoneblade deck's just good right now, I think. Actually, I shouldn't have gone top, top, because this thing's just going to kill me. It's at minus nine at least, so we're going to have time. Yeah, now if he's got another Stubborn Denial, I'm in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I messed up. Targets. OK, 
Okay, so he's got a push. So I'm going to lose my Jace anyways. Okay. So I should just get a card out of it. And I am think I'm just dead to this. Because I can't deal with the Jace, unfortunately. I have to, like, Field of Ruin to shuffle my deck. <clears throat> Make him use it. <clears throat> Yep, dead. Oh, I just saw an alert come through. Lord Kara with the fifteen dollars, send me a list of what you want me to play, and I will play it. It'll be next week. And we're just gonna, in my opponent's upkeep, we're just going to whack one of these lands. I knew my opponent had a land, and that was it. Just show me those sweet stone blade beats. Sounds good. Sounds good. I appreciate your donation. It'll be done probably not this coming week, but the week after, as I'll be in Vermont for a wedding. But you'll be able to see it. I'll be able to see it probably next Tuesday. Unless we just stream forever today. Alright, now we're dead. Because this thing ultimates. And we're not beating in that ultimate. I mean, like maybe we could. I don't know. Okay, so let's bring in this rest in peace. Let's bring in the timely. <coughs> uh, let's bring in this verdict. Let's bring in the Vendillion click. I don't. I'm actually just gonna cut all my cryptic commands. They're too slow, and they're gonna just trade for a stubborn denial, and that's just awful. Gonna trim on a Jace. We just have to make this deck lean. I also don't really like any of the two mana counter spells either, because you're just countering cards that are much cheaper than that. Like I just kind of want to like clear the way with like I've been doing quick play bomb. I don't know. Like whenever I play against Death Shadow. Whenever I have Death Shadow play against Blue White, all the cards that are expensive just suck. And if they ever make it out with like with like anything sort of cheap, like that's really good for them. I'm gonna try this. We're just gonna lean the deck out and try to get all the clunky cards out that play into Stubborn Denial, and then just try to be like leaner, you know, figure it out more. All right, we'll keep this hand. I'm gonna do this on one so he doesn't pass and stub me. Let's put this on top, get another land. Like Vendillion Click is such a pain for Death Shadow to play against. Like, it's just one of the most annoying cards ever. I hate playing against Vendillion Click. 
It's just such a beating all the time. Because, like, you do damage to yourself, and all of a sudden it's like a three-turn clock that takes your best card. And you're just like, ah, oh, I can't figure it out. Okay. I'm going to click him now because, I, like, maybe there's a world where I take his removal spell. Get rid of the veil. Like, I could see one more draw step, but maybe he has dismember, and there's a chance that this can actually pressure him. That's really bad. Holy shit. All right, well, now we're going to try to pressure it a different way. So I know he has Serum Visions and Stubborn Denial. Visions. He already uses Liliana, right? Which is kind of a bit of a mistake, but. I'm just going to take this dismember. Because Liliana has to get after it. We have to get after this Liliana a little bit. Maybe I should just be colonating it, but the dismember will answer the colonnade also. This is such a bad matchup for blue-white. I think, like, the Death Shadow deck is... Like, now that it doesn't play, like, Supreme Verdict... And he can even negate this if he wants to. Which he might just like stub this. Let me play rest in peace and then just kill me. So we're over 25% of our goal. Which is great. That doesn't even do anything. Now I'd rather have my path to exile resolve at this point. Okay, path this, play my land. Play this, get in on this Liliana. So I know this is a Snapcaster Mage. That is it. I'm just going to yield until next end step. I guess I should have waited on the click. Like, that was just dumb. But the reason I just snapped it off was because, like, he easily could have a removal spell for it, and then it's just such a beating. Like, sometimes a click just wins the game. Another Gurmag. So he doesn't want to give up the value. He's going to wait a turn on the angler. Hits a shadow. Okay. Go get a hollow fountain. Jace. J. 
Jace doesn't do anything. Jace down. I'm super dead. We're just going to scoop this up and get to another league. We'll open up our pity chests. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to beat the Jace with the um with the pressure. Like if I have to answer the board and Jace, that's just a losing battle. Okay, so let's play let's stop this. 